just being encouraging, being inspiration. If I can motivate you, motivate one person, you know, I appreciate that. You know, I know what it was like in 2009 when I first got into business and I left my corporate career. So I know how hard this thing called entrepreneurship is. And for those of you who do not know, thank you guys so much for joining me for Lunchtime Live. This is Latanya Taylor, your business bestie. And remember, nine minutes or less, I get on here and just share and pour. And do not forget, guys, as a follow-up, please make sure that you are you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you can get con additional get additional Latanya Taylor. So yeah, that's kind of what it is. This month is mentoring month. And you know how I feel about self-development and self-improvement, getting and doing what you need to do for yourself that you can be better so you can work from good to great. So this month is um, mentoring month. And for this month, I am constantly going to be flooding you guys with things to help you so that I can serve as a mentor for you for the month of January. And I hope when you see me as a mentor every day, but this month I really want to make sure I'm connected with you guys and sharing things to help you from a mentoring perspective, especially for those of you who've been seeking some type of mentorship. So I'll be focused on that this month as well as this going to be self-care month because you guys know how important self-care is to me. Like that is like, no, that's not even an option, right? We've got to take care of ourselves. So messaging for today, guys, I wanted to share with you guys three lessons that have helped me when I was new as an entrepreneur. And I ain't going to say new. I'll just say that here's three pearls that I want to share with you guys to assist you as entrepreneurs. And I would say they're lessons learned. Things that I have now found have been really keys to my success as, on, as an entrepreneur. You know, I have not had a job, a 9 to 5. I have been working for myself since 2008. And so... To be able to do that, that's hard. <laughs> and it takes a lot of consistency, determination, and sometimes things don't work out. And sometimes things just fall apart. But the thing is, as an entrepreneur, you keep going. And you keep going. And you just keep going. Right, besties? <laughs> just keep going. So here are three lessons for my besties who are new to entrepreneurship or you're in the midst of entrepreneurship, wherever you are, I think these things, three things, three lessons will help you. I think the first mistake that we all have, besties, is that entrepreneurship is glamorous. You know, that's what's portrayed on social media. You see all the high-end shit. You see the houses, the cars, and, you know, all these fancy clothes and things that people are doing. But entrepreneurship is hard work. Like, it's just not that easy. And it's not about those things, you know, if you ask me. Entrepreneurship is all about grit and grind. Baby, you better get in it and you better get all the way up in it. And when I say get in the game, you better get in the game because you will get left out in this thing called entrepreneurship. There are so many people that get started, quit, and go back to what they know. Or so many people get started and they just go back to doing that same old business hustle. Which means to me, I'm not knocking no business hustle. But do not say that you are a legitimate business if you are not doing the things that a legitimate business should be doing. So, <laughs> let's forget about the houses, the cars and things. Those are nice to have. And I think if that's what you're passionate about, if those are things that you love, because I have some friends that love cars, they collect cars, and that's okay. There are some people who just love to, um, you know, have nice watches. That's okay. I just say to you, it's entrepreneurship is just not about those materialistic things. Just like wealth isn't about materialistic things, right? So here are three pearls for you guys today, besties, because I'm going to keep this to nine minutes or less. So thank you guys so much for joining me. But here are three things that I want to share with you that I think will be great for you as an entrepreneur. One, stop waiting. And I tell people this all the time. One, write this down. Stop, don't wait until it's perfect. Listen, you cannot wait until you think you have it all together, right? There is no such thing sometimes as having it all together. Just get started. There's no such thing as perfection. You know what I mean? We can work to it, but is it ever really perfect? Right? Because we always feel like there's some work to do. Every brand, every logo, I always feel like there's need a little tweaking or I might need to do this. And you just get to the point, you're like, fuck it. This is what it is. And I ain't doing nothing else to it because you will spend your time 
constantly trying to perfect things. And at the end of the day, that's not healthy either. So come up with something, stick with it, grow it, and just keep going. And you can make minor changes to things as you go or add on things as you go. But the first thing is stop waiting until it's perfect. Start somewhere. No decision is perfect. And it's a matter of making actionable steps daily to reach your goal. You've got to just make small steps every day to get there, right? Lesson one. Number two, get the right team. I don't care if it's your kids, your uncle, your, your who it is. You have to have some people to help you. You need people that's going to add value. You know, I like utilizing my kids because sometimes they do bring a different perspective, which is why I did the podcast with them, Don't Talk Back to Your Mama, because they bring a different perspective. And I even told them today, y'all are better at this than me because they're fresh and they're comfortable talking about things that some things I'm sitting there like, we're really going to talk about this. So make sure you bring people onto your team that bring value. If you're hiring people, they need to bring value and they need to be able to do more than one thing. Baby, I'm not hiring you just to type up letters and to respond to emails and um, respond, to, respond to phone calls. You've got to be able to be a multi-use to me. You need to be able to do multiple things. So make sure that per people that you bring to your team, that they bring you value, right? You need to make sure that they do that. Also, take time when you are selecting persons that you want to do business with. So one of the key things that has been important to me lately is the people that I bank with, the people that have funded me, the people who've given me money, the people who, you know, move my transactions. It's important to make sure that they are providing value to my business. And it is important to make sure that those people are helping me beyond transacting my money. So I want my bankers, I want the people that I decide to connect with to not only just be, you know, great at moving my money, but they need to be great at doing many other things. So those are the three things. And if I sp sped through them really quickly, let me make sure you got them. One, don't wait till it's perfect. Two, get the right team. Make sure that you have people around you who have good intention, who are ambitious, and they are problem solvers. You do not want people coming back to you every day asking the same stuff over and over and they haven't even taken the initiative to find it. So when you're picking your team, value and problem solvers are important to me. And the third thing, if I didn't make that clear, was gain, when you're gaining funding for your business you're, and identifying your bank and people that you're going to do business with, whoever they are, make sure that they are providing more value than moving your money and giving you money. They need to become a part of your team. They need to be connecting you with other customers. They need to be helping you guys identify additional resolutions for your business. They should just call to check on you because they got your money. <laughs> so those are the three things I wanted to share with you besties today. Things that I will hope that will help you as entrepreneurs. Don't wait till it's perfect. Get the right team and gain more than funding from your bank. Gain more than funding from your investors. They need to be able to bring more to the table than just that. And I look for somebody who can manage a whole relationship. Then sometimes I'm looking for people who maybe they're only able to do this. So I have multiple funders, multiple banks, uh, multiple people that I work with and I partner with because I will never get in a situation again where I'm dependent upon one person or one bank or one situation um, to help me. I, I, don't put all your eggs in one basket is basically what I'm saying. So those are three lessons I want to share with you in regard to this is mentoring month. So let's mentor each other. Let's help each other. Let's share information with each other. Let's provide things that help make each other better. So remember, <laughs> guys, you just got to continue to work at this thing. And as self-care is still important, a priority it should be a daily focus and a daily effort for you. Make sure you're fueling your mind so that you can be better at business. You know, I made some complete changes this year in how I structure my day. Like I literally didn't start my work day until 11 a.m. today because... I want to spend more time on my mental health, my physical, my spirit. I want to spend more time on those things so that I'm at my best. And what I realize is that I cannot focus on everything being a phys doing everything physically. I need to be using this. Work smarter, not harder, right? I am not going to be working. 
I put in too much time and too many hours as an entrepreneur and business owner that I'm going to be working day and night. Absolutely not. I get sleep. I wake up when I feel like waking up, but I'm so focused on my business and what I need to do because I know what it takes now to scale and grow my business. So make sure you're fueling your mind because that's what moves every goddamn thing else. I, I, I promise you. I would not go to the gym if my mind wasn't in the right state. So on top of those things I just shared with you, make sure that you're fueling your mind because that's the most important. It's going to help you with your business. Um, That's it. Those are my pearls for today. You know, remember, this is Mentoring Month. Help somebody. Reach out to someone. If you offer mentoring services, cut them in half. Do some specials. Get some people who haven't had an opportunity to take advantage of, of opportunities. You know, make those things available for them. Because I tell you all the time, what you feed yourself is what you're going to produce. And that's really, really important. So if you want positivity, you got to feed yourself positivity. If you want to be a good person, you probably need to be around some good people, right? So that you can feed yourself what you want to produce. Guys, I got to go. But I wanted to drop in on my live today and just say thank you guys so much for continuing to follow me. Stay connected with me. 